Football season is almost here, but some fans around the country are probably already getting started because a good parking lot party kicks off way before the game does. And we now proudly present the NFL's top five tailgating trends. At number five, welcome to the Jungle Zone. They've got fun and games. While Bengals fans come complete with caravans, and of course, chili. You gotta get Skyliner Gold Star Chili Dog. Cincinnati has also been dubbed the capital of cornhole. So while there is plenty of hijinks and competition to be had, just don't expect those in attendance to throw or dress like Joe Burrow. Coming in at number four, the frozen tundra of Lambeau Field is no longer fearsome and may even be fun. Maybe you should wear these extra gloves. My hands are starting to get sweaty. One can now Lambo leap into the heat, well, at least into the climate-controlled Johnsonville tailgate village, which essentially amounts to a large party, where cheeseheads are not required, but encouraged. If you want to get there, just follow the map on Aaron Rodgers' tattoo. At number three, while many fans wear jerseys and hats, true cosplay is where it's at. I will take any excuse to put this costume on. And none have done that better than Raider Nation. The silver and black is accentuated nicely by those dressed as extras from a post-apocalyptic movie. A tradition, of course, started in Oakland. But now gambling is no longer the only way to find yourself in a black hole in Vegas. Our number two, Kansas City tailgates feature a feast fit for Andy Reid. While barbecue travels, the chief pit stop is KC. I'm not gonna be a sharp dressed man after this. As there are napkins and touchdowns aplenty at Arrowhead. We do know that Chiefs fans get as saucy as a Patrick Mahomes behind the back pass, both before and after games. And at number one. Bill's Mafia, baby. Oh, oh, yeah! Don't try being a Bill's fan at home. Well, you can root for the team, 13 seconds of heartbreak and all, but don't attempt what Bill's Mafia does at tailgate. And while what Buffalo fans do may not be the most universally enjoyable experience, there is something objectively entertaining about seeing people go through tables. Oh, 